Hi YouTube, it's the 8th of the 6th, 2011 and I thought I'd do a post on the wildfires, the wallow fires in Arizona which are becoming completely critical at the moment very serious situation now these fires have been going for about a week now they don't know the cause of the outbreak, how it started but at the moment you've got 2,500 firefighters trying to tackle this blaze which is rampaging on um, it's in Egar and Springerville it's very low humidity and there's also quite high winds which are fanning the blaze giving it a chance to strengthen and ignite further along the line with the sparks that are flying off it the winds are blowing the embers as far as three miles along and um, when those embers hit the ground there's a 98% chance of starting another fire um, and that's one reason the firefighters are saying there's still chance of 0% containment the winds and the dense smoke have made fighting the flames from above with water from tanker planes very difficult at times we've been sucked in and unable to put such planes in the air Wilkins said with wind gusts of 35 miles per hour or more and timber that is less moister than you'd get if you bought kiln dried lumber at your local hardware store they're combining to make this a critical day for the sev several thousand firefighters battling the huge wildfire in northeast Arizona. They're also worried about receiving lightning strikes, but dry lightning strikes. The Arizona public writes this hour that the crews face another day of winds and low humidity, a day after the blaze continued its relentless advance and forced the evacuation of a major part of Egar amid rolling power outages and reports of gasoline shortages the fire growing by the hour leaped farther farther north Tuesday and now consumed about 389,000 acres with at least 11 structures burnt and 588 more threatened by the flames the inferno is also affecting other places not only has the smoke been detected as far north as Wyoming and as far east as Georgia but the Bloomberg News says that the fire is on track to reach within three days high voltage links that deliver 40% of the power used by 371,000 homes and businesses in western Texas and southeastern New Mexico. Teresa Suzu, a spokesman for the El Paso, Texas based utility owner, said today in an interview. As the fire continues to burn unconfined, officials decided to evacuate all of Edgar. Egar and Springerville, towns that sit just north of Arizona 260. The area south of the highway had been asked to evacuate yesterday. Here in Arizona they're dealing with seven separate fires. Now I've got another report just in and these are fires in state of Colorado, southeastern Colorado. And here there are four reported fires burning in southeastern Colorado, including two on Fort Carson's Pinon Canyon maneuver site. Firefighting crews are battling a second wildland fire at the Pinon Canyon maneuver site. The fire was discovered 15 miles west of the first wildland fire, named the Bear Spring Fire. It is currently estimated to be burning approximately 3,000 acres. The first fire discovered late Tuesday morning, called the Cali Marie fire, is burning an area estimated to be approximately 2,000 acres. Forest Service land in Los Animas County. It's believed it was started by lightning. No containment estimates are available at this time. No structures are presently involved and no evacuation of the areas have been directed. The Shell fire is currently estimated at 8,200 acres, with 10% containment. That's near Highway 109 and County Road 62. Three homes have been evacuated and three more are on standby to be evacuated. No homes have actually burnt. The Bryce Fire, which is about 20 miles away, burnt 2,500 acres with 90% containment. Pueblo Dispatch says there are reportedly 336 lightning strikes in the fire areas over the last 12 hours. So that's an ongoing one. And um, I saw a quick headline earlier, I haven't read the whole article, that 
I'd forgotten about this, the one I did the Everglades report on, that's still burning quite well, so you've got the Everglades fire as well. In the Arizona fires, the seven fires in Arizona, it's roughly burnt 150,000 hectares thus far.